Hi, this is Daniel from the Ultimate Guitar Academy and I'm going to teach you how to play the guitar. Okay, first off we have three main types of guitars. This here is acoustic, but there are also electric and acoustic electric guitars. I usually call acoustic electrics semi-acoustic because it just makes things a bit easier. Even though these guitars are different, they actually still have mostly the same parts. This here is the body. We also have the neck and the head. I'll say those again. We had body, neck, and head. Over here we also have the bridge, strings, frets, and the tuning keys. I'll say those again as well. Bridge, strings, frets, and tuning keys. The strings are named after letters of the English alphabet. Starting from the very top here, we have E, A, D, G, B, E. Because that can be hard to remember, you can actually just assign words for each string. For example, Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie, where the first letter in each word is the letter for that string. Starting from the other end, you could actually number the strings 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The reason for this is the string down here is actually what we call our top or high or first string because it sounds the highest. This one all the way here is the sixth or low or bottom string because it sounds the lowest. They are both E, so we actually have two E's. We have the high E and the low E. I actually don't recommend using that system. I much prefer to go with the actual English letters for the strings. Earlier I was talking about frets. Now the fret itself is not the bar, it's the space between the bars. For example, this space here is the first fret, the next space is the second fret, the next is the third fret, and then we keep going. After three we'll get four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. You'll notice that we have dots. The only reason we have dots is to help us find those fret numbers really quickly. For example, if I think of a number like 17, it's right there. Now, I didn't have to count up, I know where the 17th fret dot is. When holding down the string, make sure you use the tip of your finger, that's right on the top. We want to keep fingers almost always nice and curly, and keep our thumb up the top. For example, if I hold down a string, I am using the tip of my finger, it's very very curly, and my thumb is up the top. We always want to keep our thumb pointing upwards, I remember that because guitar gets a thumbs up. So we never want our thumb to come out the front and we never want it to point down at the ground down there. We always want it to be on the back of the guitar pointing upwards. It doesn't necessarily have to hook on the top, though I find that quite comfortable, especially for beginner guitar playing. When I tell you to play something on the guitar, what I will do is tell you the fret number as well as the string name. For example, second fret on the high E string would be here. And when you hold it down, top of your finger, curly finger, thumb nice and high. There are two main types of guitar playing, the first being strumming. This is where we rest our elbow on the side of the guitar and our wrist moves up and down like so to create a strumming motion. We can strum down or up, although we usually start with down. The, the pick itself should brush through the strings like this. The second main type of guitar playing is picking. This is where we just play one string using a very small stroking motion. It's important to keep our hand either on the bridge of the guitar or just above the strings along the body of the guitar. This will maintain sufficient technique at all times. For many guitarists out there, their first song is Smoke on the Water, but I'm going to show you something a little bit different. We're going to try Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Before we look at playing anything, I just want you to memorise four numbers for me. They are 2454. Four. Think of it like a phone number. 2454. Four. Just don't actually call that. So, frets 2, 4, 5, 4. You'll notice fret 5 has a dot. And I'm going to play that on the high E string, which is this one down here. If I put it together, 2454. Four. Common problems with this riff would be dead strings, like this, or buzzing strings, like this, where the sound isn't quite right. Most of the time that will be caused simply from not squeezing quite tight enough with your string. 
Next I'd like to show you a chord. The first chord you're going to learn is E minor. Now it's important that you make sure you remember this chord is not E, but E minor. The word minor is very important in music. If you're a mathematician, it's kind of like positive and negative numbers. In music, we have major and minor chords. All I'm going to do is take these two fingers, like I'm saying, peace man, go to the second fret and hold down, at the same time, the A and D strings. They are eight dynamite. If you think of Eddie eight dynamite, goodbye Eddie. A and D, which are here. When I'm holding those strings, you'll notice I'm using the tips of my fingers, which are also very, very curly and my thumb stays nice and high, but doesn't actually touch any string on the guitar, then I simply rest the elbow and strum through all the strings like so. If you do find you've got some dead strings, which will sound like this, or some buzzing, just like that, again, it's most likely caused from not holding the string down quite tight enough. Well, there's your first guitar lesson. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope even more that you learned something. Now you should move along to video two, where you can find some more songs and chords. If you have any questions or comments, or experience trouble learning some of the content from this video, please feel free to go over to ultimateguitaracademy.com.au, where you can contact me directly. Thanks for watching. Until next time, keep shredding.